Hi, my name is Nuno Santos. I'm here to explain you today how to do some HTTP GET requests with the ASP8266, a very powerful tool uh, and microcontroller. You can read a little bit more about it uh, at my blog. I will leave some links below in the description. Uh, I also have a, a post explaining how to do the, the HTTP GET request that I encourage you to, uh, to check. Just a brief overview of this of this post. So I do a step-by-step -step explanation of all the code needed, and uh, in the end, I have the full uh, the full source code, which is very simple, and you uh, can copy and paste for a faster uh, test. Uh, now I'm going to explain you in detail uh, every bit of the code and do um, an explanation on how to run it and show you the output of this program. Uh, now we should open the, the Arduino development environment. If you haven't already configured, uh, configured it to, to support the ASP8266, I'll leave a link below that explains how to do it. So as you can see, the, I've already opened the Arduino development environment. Uh, it is already configured for the ASP8266 libraries. So I have uh, access to all the basic ones I need. As you can see, for in the first lines of code, I need the uh, Wi-Fi.h library, which will uh, allow me to connect to a Wi-Fi network, uh, and the HTTP client.h library, which will allow me to do the, um, the GET requests. It also allows us to do POST requests. We will check that on, a, on another video. So. Uh, the first thing that we need to know is to declare two global variables to hold our SSID or network name and uh, the password needed to access our uh, Wi-Fi network. I like to leave this uh, in some global variables instead of hard coding it directly on the, on the functions. Next we have the setup function, as you know it only runs once in our code. And we start by opening the serial ports so we can output the result of our program. So here we have the opening of the serial port. Then we call the begin method on a global object called Wi-Fi uh, and pass it the SSID and the password defined earlier so we can connect to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, since the connection may take a while, we need to do this in a loop. So we basically check if we are already connected and if not, we do a small delay until we, the connection has been established. This may take a while depending on the conditions you are testing the, the program and the, in your signal strength. Then moving to the main loop function. As a precaution, in the beginning we check again if we are connected to the network. So I'm not doing a very complex error handling, just a, just a basic check. Of course you, need to, uh, you should do a robust uh, programming in in a real case scenario, but I'm keeping things simple. Then uh, I'm declaring uh, uh, an object of class HTTP client, uh, which will make available all the methods needed, so we can send the GET request to the site we want. Well, the first one that we are going to call is the begin method, where we can specify the destination of our request. So the argument to this method is the uh, URL of the site we want to um, want to send the request to. I will explain a little bit later um, which site is this. You can use it to test it, but it basically has a fake REST API for testing, uh, which allows us to do some some quick requests and get a, a generic uh, answer. Then to make the the actual request, uh, we call the get method on the HTTP object. Uh, which will do the request and will return the HTTP code. Uh, you can, if you are not familiarized with the HTTP codes that can uh, result from the from a request, I will leave a link below uh, listing all the possibilities. But basically, this code will indicate if our request was successful or not. Uh, in this case, I'm checking the return code, and, and if it is greater than zero, it means that it is an HTTP code. Uh, from the request and not a problem internal to the library. It's nothing in our uh, ASP8266. 
but rather some problem with the it may be some problem with the connection or not uh, then if everything is successful I'm getting the payload um, which is the answer of our request it's the response and I'm printing it to the serial port as you can see here so I can check the result you may also print the HTTP code just to confirm that uh, it's an HTTP 200 which uh, means that the request has, uh, has gone ok uh, in the end you should call the end method to close the, the connection uh, so we make sure that no resources, uh, resources are uh, left hanging uh, this is very important to, to leave everything ok and go to the next request uh, in the end of the main loop, I'm doing just a simple 30 seconds delay, so I'm not uh, doing uh, a lot of requests uh, per second. Uh, this is it. Uh, I will now show you uh, in a moment the, the output of the program. I've already uploaded the, the code with my, my network credentials to the ESP, and I'll show you a little bit how the site uh, with the fake online AP works. So, as I said earlier, we are going to make the request to a fake um, REST API uh, website, which is called JSON Placeholder. It's a very, very interesting site, uh, which has some REST uh, example requests. You can exp I will leave a link below so you can explore it. And um, in particular, we are going to test this URL, uh, which uh, in this case, if we test it, uh, the user's URL, will return a list of users, it's a generic uh, generic example, um, in uh, JSON. And in our particular case, we are going to do the request for the user with ID number one. As you can see here, this should be the output of our program in the ASP8266. So, I'm going to connect my my ASP, uh, I usually use a Node MCU board, so you know my hard what my hardware is. Uh, I'm going to open the serial port, and we should see a request coming, uh, a request being sent. Well, as you as you saw, uh, I'm going to show you the output of the program. As you saw, there was the connecting the connecting uh, sentence uh, we defined in the code. It takes a while to connect. Uh, to the Wi-Fi network, and here is the output of the, the HTTP request. So as you can see, this is the same uh, the same thing we got by doing the same request uh, in the browser. So this is it. Doing an HTTP request is very very simple. Uh, you can try it. Uh, you can copy the code from my from my uh, blog Tech Tutorials X. Uh, feel free to contact me if you need anything, uh, any doubt, any, uh, any advice, and thank you for watching.